Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Live in Times Square, this is GMA. Speaking of leftovers, could the food in your fridge be key to protecting you from the sun's rays? Dr. Whitney Bowe, she's here next to talk about protecting your skin. And now to that summer alert about protecting your skin from the sun. We know sunscreen is important, but food could be too. We'll speak with Dr. Whitney Bowe in a moment, but first, ABC's Becky Worley has a closer look. Damage from the sun is hard to see, but new technology shows the cumulative effect of burns at a cellular level. Those brown spots showing skin damage. Do you remember getting sunburned as a kid? Yes. Like really bad ones? Yes. Yeah, me too. I was at the beach in Delaware, and I just remember being pink like a lobster. A recent report by the Mayo Clinic says skin cancer is on the rise. A 191% jump for women between 30 and 39 years old, and a 246% jump for women 40 to 49. And that jump happened while there are more products than ever promising protection. Like this moisturizer with SPF 25 that Libby Alkali applies every morning. I want to protect my complexion. Um, figure out if there's something else I should be doing. But according to dermatologist Whitney Bowe, she says really moisturizers bad. with SPF offer incidental coverage, but not comprehensive protection. And even when we do pull out the dedicated sunscreen... The typical American uses about half of what they actually need when it comes to sun protection. As a result, the SPF number matters. So if you're using an SPF of 60 or an SPF of 80, you're still getting an SPF 30, an SPF 40. So my rule of thumb is apply about double what you think that you need and reach for the higher SPFs. Finally, application is vital when it comes to sun protection. After applying SPF 50, we scanned Libby's face again. The results, she's getting great coverage, but she's missing key areas like her eyelids and lips that are very sensitive to sun damage. And while you may think using a spray gets everything covered perfectly... The catch with a spray is after you spray it, you have to rub it in with your hands or else you don't get even protection on the skin. So your sunscreen formula, double your usual SPF, and double how much you use. Typically a shot glass full for your body and rub it in thoroughly. For Good Morning America, Becky Worley, ABC News, New York. And joining us now is board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Whitney Bowe. And, Doc, you brought an SPF menu. And I, I knew about sunscreen. I think we all knew about sunscreen. But I didn't know there were things you could eat and drink that help you from the inside out. Absolutely. But just to be clear, this is in addition to applying your sunscreen. There's no substitute for applying your sunscreen. Okay, but in addition, you want to try to get as many antioxidants in your diet as possible. You can do that by sipping on some green tea, okay. by loading up your plate with deeply colored fruits and vegetables, things like berries spinach the more colors on your plate the more your skin is protected from the sun I have berries and who doesn't like that I like that okay I can do that now we have probiotics probiotics so there's new science showing that certain healthy strains of bacteria probiotics can actually protect your skin from harmful UV light so do you want to look for things like yogurt with live active cultures throw some sauerkraut on your next hot dog and drink some kombucha 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 say it with me kombucha right Kombucha. That gives me a reason to eat a hot dog now. <laughs> and this one sounds too good to be true. Dark chocolate. Well, are you a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate? I'm any chocolate guy. Any, I like that. I like I'm going to try to convert you to dark because dark chocolate contains cocoa flavonols, and those have been shown to protect your skin from the sun. Well, I'm not mad at that. I'm going to take the rest of this home with me. And, Doc, here we have pills and supplements. Yeah. And they claim to help. But do they really work? You got to be careful because you got to look for pills that actually have strong science behind them, like this one. This is called HelioCare. Mm -hmm. So HelioCare is made from a fern plant extract. And studies show if you take one of these pills 30 minutes before you go out in the sun and you use your, sun, your sunscreen, it literally just gives you an extra boost, an added layer of protection. Wow. The new science of skin, skin protection. Very exciting stuff. I'm glad, glad you're here, Doc, keeping us on track. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Bo. And everybody, coming up, we have the start of the BBC's new hit comedy. Downward Dog, they're going to be here live.